Welcome back to Reason 4 Bootcamp. In this video, I'm going to be talking about tooltips and context menus. Tooltips appear when you hover the mouse over a parameter. I'll do that right now, and you will see that this red box shows up. And it tells you the name of the parameter, channel to base, and the current setting. Um, right now, amount is zero. If I, if I adjust that, I can see that's reflected in the tooltip, and it's pretty much the only way to get the exact numerical value for some of these parameters. I mean, I can look at the base control and see that it's turned way to the right, but the tooltip will tell me that that actual number is 47. Now, context menus um, appear when you right-click on a device. Here, when I uh, do this, I'm just clicking on the device. I'm not clicking on any parameter, um, it brings up a general device menu. I can cut devices, copy devices, create tracks, combine devices, um, create new devices. If I were to right click on an actual parameter, like the base control, then it brings up a different type of context menu that is related to automation or keyboard mapping. Um, and throughout Reason, when you right click, it will bring up a different type of context menu depending on what you're clicking on. So if you click an empty space, for example, it will bring up a menu that allows you to create new devices. If you click on an event in the sequencer, you know, that's going to bring up a different type of context menu. So that is pretty much everything you need to know about context menus and tooltips in Reason 4.